We've got lots of chickens and ducks. We love to fish and we homeschool our six kids. So why not raise our own mealworms and beetles? We had a friend give us a small container of mealworms to get started. I did a little YouTube research, but ultimately this was gonna be an experiment. We need to keep the mealworms, pupa, and beetles all in their own individual containers. Each container gets a bed of oatmeal for them to eat and to burrow in. The mealworm and beetle containers both get egg cartons for them to climb on and hide under. Then you place carrots or potato on the egg carton. This gives them another source of nutrition as well as hydration. Placing these moist items up on top of the carton keeps it out of the oatmeal and cuts down on mold and having to switch out oatmeal constantly. As mealworms morph into pupa, they need to be transferred to their own container. And same goes for the beetles. They need to be transferred from the pupa container to the beetle container. Every two to three days, we go through the containers to do transfers. We sift out sheddings, dead mealworms, pupas, and beetles, feed those to our chickens, and change out oatmeal as needed. I kept pretty close track of numbers until I knew for sure that what we were doing was working. And then we decided to buy some more mealworms. We ordered a bag of 3,000 from Amazon. We decided to put a screen on the bottom of the beetle container so that once they started mating, their eggs would drop through the screen into a mealworm container. sound okay this is the beetles everybody completely quiet no moving no breathing anything okay Here. completely quiet so we can see if we can hear them no we have beetles mating How is this beetle even alive? Its entire abdomen is missing. It was a while before we noticed any beetles mating, and then we weren't even sure if they were laying eggs or not. But we kept checking, and finally, we noticed the oatmeal was moving. And if you look closely, you can see teeny, tiny mealworms. We did it. So if you have lizards, chickens, or some other kind of creature you're purchasing mealworms for, you might look into raising your own. It's pretty easy, and as you can see, it's foolproof. We're all about self-reliance here, especially in this current political climate.
hit subscribe and check out our other videos. It just might be worth it.